Ashley in Idaho Falls and Pocatello is spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. It is really cold right now, about zero degrees. I'm Nate Eaton here with Jordan Wood. We are about to surprise a guy who really went above and beyond when it came to helping some people. His name is Tom. And the nomination that we got for Feel Good Friday said, I live near a canal in Rexburg that has water running through it. This was back in the fall when there still was water. A car accidentally drove into the canal while doing a U-turn and flipped over in the water. Tom heard the commotion and ran out of his house, stripped down to his underwear, and jumped into the canal. He was able to pull the two occupants and their dog out of the vehicle to safety as it was quickly filling up with water. Luckily, everyone was mostly okay. The driver was taken to the hospital. Thanks to the quick action and bravery of Tom. Very few people know about this, and he very likely saved a life, or at least saved them from serious injury. Once he got the occupants out of the car, paramedics had just arrived and whisked the occupants away. And Tom was able, with his, with his wife, to uh, now think back about his heroic actions. Well, we reached out to Tom's wife. It's taken some time to connect uh, the, all of us, but it's happening tonight. Her name is Chloe. She's actually bringing Tom to sushi time in Idaho Falls. It's his birthday, and we're going to surprise him. Apparently, his favorite restaurant is Texas Roadhouse. Unfortunately, because of a fire last week, they weren't able to go to the Texas Roadhouse, but we had uh, got him some gift cards to Texas Roadhouse that he can use, hopefully, when they open up, or he can go to the one in Pocatello. We're going to hang out here in the parking lot. Hopefully, they'll get here quickly. We can surprise him and thank him for all he did to save these people in this car. Hey, how are you guys? Good, how are you doing? Good. We're with East Idaho News out here interviewing people who are having birthdays today. Do you know anyone that's having a birthday? <laughs> you tell somebody <laughs> Actually, that's not why we're here. We heard that you did something pretty heroic a few weeks ago when a car went in a canal. Yeah. Yeah, can you tell us about what happened? Uh, we were just living in our trailer park, and I was getting my lunch ready for the next day. I heard a sound outside and looked out the window and saw somebody's car upside down in the canal. Um, so I just ran outside and... My wife called 911 and I was able to pull a couple and their dog out of the back seat, so. Pretty amazing. Uh, by the way, my name's Nate and I'm with East Idaho News. Hi. You must be Tom. Good I hope you're Tom. Good to see you, Tom. <laughs> and you're Chloe. Yes. Okay, good. She described you and we saw the, the tall guy walking through the parking lot. <laughs> so, uh, did you just happen to see like the roof of the car or it was turned over or what? Yeah, so it was flipped upside down um, and they had, it looked like they had gone into the canal and then just nose dived and then flipped over because I peeked out the window and could see their headlights facing toward me upside down so I just ran outside and hopped in and got them out. Hopped in the water and what did you do to get them out? Did you roll down the window or um, open the door? I tried, I tried to break the glass on the back window at first. It turns out modern car glass is a lot harder than I thought it was. Um, luckily I was able to get their back uh, driver's side uh, back door ripped that open, saw the first guy, pulled him out, and then their dog was right there, so I grabbed it and pulled him out, and then got the chick out, and she looked like she had been in the one driving or something like that, her face looked like it had hit the steering wheel um, pretty bad, so we got them out, and by that time the cops had got there and helped me get them out of the canal, so. Oh my gosh, what were you thinking as you were seeing this? Oh my goodness, I was, yeah scared because that's not something you see every day but really proud of them. right well we wanted to thank you we do a segment called feel good friday oh, nice. with ashley furniture we got you gift cards uh, from ashley to your favorite restaurant that unfortunately had a fire we bought that. these before <laughs> actually maybe the day of uh, so when they open, hopefully soon, you can go there. There's $100 or to the one in Pocatello. But uh, thank you for what you did and for what oh, you do to keep you. our lights on. I understand you're an electrician. Yeah. So, uh, and happy birthday on top thank of all you. that. All right. <laughs> thank you. Good meeting you. We'll let you get inside where it's warm. Ashley in Idaho Falls and Pocatello is spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday.